Hello, this is Lori Whitlock, and I am going to show you how to put together my large trophy box that has a little phrase on it that says number one dad. I have the cutting vials at the Silhouette online store and the SVG cutting vials in my online shop at LoriWhitlock.com. Um, basically, before I started assembling anything, I wanted to show you all the pieces as they're cut out. There's four little handle pieces, and you'll be gluing those to each other to make them a little more sturdy. There's a liner set, there's two pieces for that, and there's the main box, and there's two pieces for that. A little black piece to go behind the lettering, and then all of these covering pieces to go on these two large pieces. And I'm actually going to go and in a, in a, adhere all of those covering panels to these, these two pieces right now before we get started. So I'll be back in just a moment. So now you can see I've installed or adhered all of the covering panels to all of the sides of the um, of this trophy box, except for these two. These are the two that have little slits in them, and that is so we can attach the handles. So I'm going to do show you how to do that. Um, the other thing that I went ahead and did is I put down the black piece of paper underneath this um, pattern cardstock, and I've gone ahead and filled in the little negative pieces in the letters and I wanted to show you how I did that in an easy way. Some of you may know this already but I'm going to pull my last letter off my mat here. So I have this D and I just set it down in place. Go ahead and put a little adhesive on the back of my negative piece. Oops. And oops, I got a little too much. Okay, and then go ahead and lay that down right in place. Make sure you scoot it right into place, and then it'll be set right in the perfect position. So let me pull the rest of that D back up. There you go. So now, number one dad, in perfect position. I debated on if I wanted to give you the letters to lay down, but then I thought it's easier to lay down those negative pieces than to try and position it perfectly. So the next thing we're going to do is, let me think about this. Let's actually wait on the handles. I'm going to leave the those till the end. So we're going to set those aside. The next thing we're actually going to do is we're going to adhere the these pieces together at these two glue tabs. And so make sure when you're installing all of your covering panels that the glue tabs are on the same side. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces together real quick. And I like to do this now so that I don't make a mistake in my folding. So I'm going to sure I've got plenty of adhesive right up to the fold line there. And then just line everything up. The more perfect you are about placing it, the more perfect your box will turn out in the end. So there you go. Okay, so now we're ready to start folding this, okay? So I've kind of got a little sample one here. So we're going to have this first panel and then this little angled part is going to fold back and then down and then out. So let's, let's try that. So we're going to fold, let me think, okay we're folding this first panel, folds back just like this. Okay, and the next panel is going to fold Go ahead and flip it over like this and fold those forward. And then the next panel we're going to fold forward again. And then we're going to fold back. And then we have the little glue tabs at the bottom that are all going to fold down. Okay, so I think that kind of starts forming our trophy box the way, we, the, the way we want it. So the other thing we have are all these little glue tabs here. So let's go ahead and start folding all of those towards the inside of the box. You'll notice there's some in between here that we need to fold. Okay, so now we're ready to start gluing it all together. So we have to just start folding these one section at a time and gluing them down. So I'm going to use some liquid glue because it's a little bit easier. 
This little tiny bottle with this long snout is so handy. Okay, so then just go ahead and fold that over. Make sure it's nice and square and lined up. And just hold those pieces in place as you go. It's gonna be just a little bit tricky. My glue is kind of drying before I'm getting, getting it glued down. here make sure everything's looking good looks real good okay and then we'll just move on to the next section we're gonna do the same now one thing I forgot to do is fold this top section so you can kind of see that I'm creasing that as I go here I'm gonna fold this next section as well that is important to get it to stand up right. Okay, and then we're on to the next section. And you can reduce this whole box down to be smaller. I made it so it would all fit on an 8.5 by 11 and 12 by 12 very easily. But if you want to make these smaller, you certainly could. And you would not have to do the little liner that I'm going to show you. So go ahead and continue all the way around and glue up the last edge here and include this top tab as well. Okay, so this is what your um, box should look like at this point. And one piece I neglected to show you at the very beginning was the bottom square. And you go, go ahead and cut that out and make sure that you adhere it to the bottom of the box. Um, okay, now that we're to this point, we can assemble. Let's go ahead and assemble first the, um, the handles and those two side panels. So I'm going to set our main box to the side for a minute. Okay, you're going to take one of your handle sets, make sure you fold these little tabs each a separate direction so they're flat like this, and do that to both of them. And then you're going to, you're going to notice a larger slit and a smaller slit. So you're going to take the top of the handle and put both of those tabs, fold them flat, put them through that larger slit, and the smaller ones go through that smaller slit. Then you'll flip it over and you're going to open those tabs up and glue them down. So I'll just go ahead and put a little adhesive under those and just glue those down. Okay, so it should look like this. And that's what it should look like on the front side. And I'm just gonna set that aside for a minute while I do the other one. Okay, so those, looks like we have two ears right there. And now you're ready to go ahead and install those on these two sides. So I'll go ahead and put a little adhesive around the edges of this one. Into the middle. Then I'm gonna lay my project down, make sure, make sure you get it going the right direction. You want the top of the ear to be up. And there you go. And then we're ready to do the other side. Bottom. And I didn't like that idea if I wanted to fill it with candy or something like that. So I wanted a liner so it could be nice and sturdy and be filled with some, some smaller things. So that's why I created this little liner. That was the best solution. Okay, this is how each panel folds. It folds in and then this is gonna be the bottom. So it has kind of a bottom of the, in the box. those blue tabs in as well. Okay, so 
So now I'm gonna go ahead put adhesive on the rest of those little tabs. Now this is the piece that if you were reducing the size of your project, you'd probably need to fiddle with this just a little bit more because it's not going to reduce as easily because it's just snug and small enough. There's just enough space to account for the paper at this size. I don't know what it would do if you reduce it. It would probably be tighter to tight. Okay. Okay, so now we just need to glue those little angled tabs in place. And I'm just gonna fold these back out of my way for a minute. But they will go the other direction here in a minute. And kind of pinch those corners in place on the first couple anyways. Okay, so there you have it. Now these, I'm just gonna Fold one at a time and just add a little adhesive to keep those layers nice and stuck together. And I kept all those layers there because I thought it would make a nice sturdy bottom. You can kind of reach down from the inside and stick everything down nice and flat. Okay, so that's what our liner looks like, and that goes inside our trophy. So there you have it. We have our finished trophy box with our little liner that slips right inside. And that makes this um, finish off so nicely with a finished bottom in there, so you can put candy and treats in there and they don't fall all the way to the bottom of the trophy box. So I hope you enjoy this. I think your dad is going to love it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.